And tonight we're hearing from a man who was there during the attacks and had to deliver the news to millions of viewers. Bill Ritter, the lead anchor of Eyewitness News on WABC television in New York City, was on the air for hours trying to make sense out of a tragedy no one could understand. Well, quite simply, as we begin our 11 o'clock edition of Eyewitness News, the unthinkable happened today. The World Trade Center, both towers gone, and we are all witnesses. I spoke with Bill this afternoon by FaceTime immediately after he anchored his station's coverage of the 18th anniversary of 9-11. He tells me 18 years later, it is still important for journalists to tell the stories from that day, especially since this is the first year that most students graduating high school were born after 9-11. Bill tells me he was on his way to the gym that morning when he got a call from his producer asking him to get to the studio as soon as possible and that it was going to be a long day. I, I ran back home and uh, got showered and I turned on the television really loudly and the uh, anchor at the time who I shall remain unidentified, when the plane, the second plane hit the tower, I'm listening to it in the shower and I, he says, well, uh, clearly we have a, a communication problem with the uh, with the aviation tower and, uh, and the control tower. And I, I remember taking the bar of soap, throwing it against the wall and saying, bleep, what are you saying? We are under attack. And I got out of the shower with shampoo in my hair, dried off, rushed to the office and uh, got on the anchor desk and stayed there. Um, we were at work till, you know, a couple hours before sunrise the next day. And coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, I ask Bill about the one thing that he remembers vividly from that day, his answer at 6 o'clock. And you can watch my full interview with Bill Ritter on our website, tristatehomepage.com. And our coverage of the 18th anniversary of September 11th.